School year. So today, first of all, I need to tell you a huge thanks to all of you because we have hit 500 subscribers, which is usually not a pretty big deal, but it is a big deal for us. So thanks to all of you. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel because it encourages us a lot to publish more videos. I know it's been a while since we last uploaded. We had exams, so sorry about that. So please do subscribe because we'll be publishing more and more content for you guys in Flutter and in uh, React etc. Uh, right now it's an ML project, right? So basically, uh, I need to also tell you guys to subscribe to our follow or other our Instagram channel, which is DevBees itself. We just hit 100 followers and it's, pre it's a pretty small number I know, but still we need followers on this uh, page as well. So if you can, please do follow uh, it will be in the description below so please do follow us we'll be putting uh, stories rather uh, which you can check out and gain more and more knowledge on react and flutter as you go along coming to the project so what my topic of uh, discussion today is the project right uh, i've been publishing but part by part in the previous videos right so basically my college finally a project is being discussed here today by me so basically the project is, for those of you who don't know, is real-time violence alert system using Firebase and a and certain amount of Python libraries and Telegram, okay, and Telegram bots, okay. So basically, I'm sorry about the uh, disturbance in the background. Uh, so basically, I'll be telling what my project is in a sim very simple manner using the architecture diagram here so that you, can, you guys can understand it very easily. I link the previous videos in the cards above so that you guys can check it out too. So to gain a deeper knowledge on the project. So basically, I'll be going through this arch architecture diagram quickly. So basically, first of all, we have the violent activity. Okay, so basically, whatever violent activity happens in roads, railways, certain areas, whatever area it be, that's the violent activity that is being mentioned here. Okay, this violent activity will be, will be captured by the surveillance cameras okay will be captured by the surveillance cameras fitted in those areas and this surveillance camera will contain a model okay so basically uh, the algorithm goes like the video that is being captured will be converted into frames in image frames okay and each of the, as you can see here and each of these individual video frames will be checked for whether they contain violence or not using a certain pre-trained model called MobileNet V2, which we have trained for violence recognition specifically using a certain uh, data set from Kaggle, etc. So basically we have trained a model using the MobileNet V2 architecture and each of these individual video, video frames will be checked for whether they contain violence or not. Okay. And if they do not contain violence, they those frames will be discarded by the camera. Okay. Or the code which has been embedded into the camera. Okay. And if they contain violence, the frames that contain violence, that there, are, there will be a lot of frames that contain violence, one of those frames will be saved by OpenCV. Okay, we have used OpenCV in this project. So one of those frames will be saved using OpenCV and that image will be enhanced using a Python library called PIL. Okay, PILO, Python image li Imaging Library. So basically we'll be enhancing it and then the rest of the stuff happens, I'll tell you what that is. First of all, this enhanced image along with the face detection tool. This architecture diagram is actually not pretty accurate, but I need to say uh, an alert message including the enhanced image and the face detection image that will be discussed here. I'll be telling that later on. The uh, alert message including the enhanced image and the face detected image will be sent to the, to the telegram group where all the telegram officials will be present. I'll show the demo later on. Okay. So basically all these details will be sent to a telegram group, a telegram group using a telegram bot. Okay. And then uh, what happens in the back end is all this data, which has been sent to the telegram bot, which will also be sent to Firebase cloud Firestore. Okay. So basically we are using Firestore for this application too. And um, as I told earlier, we are detecting faces too in the saved image. So basically we are using pipe plot and empty CNN for this purpose. So basically the in 
all the image uh, all the faces that have been recognized is saved in one picture and that is being sent to the telegram group and also saved in the cloud fire store okay so basically i hope you understood what that is so basically we are sending an alert to the telegram group where all the tele uh, police officials will be present and also for later purposes for checking purposes so that the officials can check it later on we are saving it specifically in cloud fire store too in a neat format okay so basically that's what happens that's what happens in the entire thing okay so basically i need to uh, tell you guys that i have up uploaded a ppt in my github repository itself chandra junior real time violence alert system please do check it out if you haven't understood exactly what the architecture diagram is all, ab all about uh, you can go through it it's pretty neat and you will understand what happens uh, in the uh, entire project okay so basically yeah that's what happens in project i had uh, please to check out the previous video i have uploaded because i am running a demo specifically on that video in that video okay so that you guys you guys can understand what's happening i'm not running that demo on in this video because it will take a lot of time because i haven't run it in a few months time i mean a few weeks time so i'm a, i'm still a bit trusty on that so basically please to watch the previous video so that you guys can get more info on the project too so i'll be going to the telegram group as i told earlier where all the uh, i mean where all the data will be sent right uh, in the architecture diagram i told that uh, an alert will be sent to the telegram group using a telegram bot so we basically built a telegram bot okay and that bot was named violence spot okay all the videos uh, for creating a, a telegram group is available on youtube itself please do check it out if you want to clone this so basically the uh, i ran this on june 30th today is june uh, 8 july 18th okay so basically i'm still a bit trusty on this so basically the violence bot right sends a alert message first of all it says violence alert location keso keshodasapuram uh, keshodasapuram is, uh, is a place in tirunelveli in kerala that's all you need to understand what uh, what keshodasapuram is so basically it's a location right where the violence activity has happened location keshodasapuram and we are also getting a time okay the time is being the current time of that uh, of this violence alert message will be obtained using a python library called pyts okay all the code is, code is available in the github repository please to check it out here it's called uh, as i told you it's, it's called real time violence alert system i'll be linking it in the cards below in the, in the description below please to check it out and also uh, please to make sure to give a star because it encourages me to put publish more and more repositories on github so for you guys basically so yeah right so uh, so yeah first of all the violence image and then the enhanced image i, I told you guys uh, we'll be saving a fair frame using opencv and then we'll be enhancing it and then we'll be sending that to uh, the telegram group too so that's this video that that's this uh, image right so basically this is the enhanced image which will be sending to the uh, telegram group using the violence bot and then the image uh, the faces that have been detected in this image is sent as well okay so that the officials can get a clearer understanding of who all are in this image so basically uh, this image this face will be plotted using pyplot and uh, sent to the telegram group as well okay so these are the four messages that come in an alert alert uh, message and then as i told earlier we will be sending uh, saving these details in the firestore cloud base to Fire, firebase cloud firestore 2 so basically that's uh, that's what i'm showing right now so the all the places right all the places will be as i told earlier keshodasapuram manandal is another place nalanjari is another place all these uh, details will be or data will be stored in a neat document format in firestore so basically if i choose keshodasapuram all the violence activity that are that are, that has happened in keshodasapuram is being saved here and each of this document contains the date a uh, link which contains the fa faces image and uh, the image which is basically this image which i am talking about this enhanced image right this image is the image image uh, thing right and the faces image contains all the faces in that particular image right so basically if i choose manandala here all the violent activity that has happened in manandala will be recorded here right if i choose this document this document all this contains specific uh, data right so basically that's what happens cloud firestore 2 
we will be obtaining links for these two i have uploaded a, i mean i have i have put up put up a video in my github repository to to uh, let you guys know that there is a youtube video for doing all this kind of stuff in cloud firestore please so please do check it out so yeah uh, that's what uh, my project is all about i know this has been a very short video compared to the rest of the other videos because i have not run any specific code in this video please do check out the previous video i'll be linking it in the cards above so yeah uh, do check that out and you will get a clearer understanding of what's going on in that video i haven't actually uh, done the firestore part or the cloud firebase part so uh, yeah that's an improvement from the previous video in this video so yeah that's all about my project i guess uh, so yeah uh, if if you need any help to clone this project i am always uh, available please do uh, you know contact me or you know you can send me a message on whatsapp we have a whatsapp group for devbees it's uh, it's in the about section so please do join if you need to right i have tidied up the entire part face detection parts uh, stage by detection uh, stage by face detection firebase integration everything this the entire project team so yeah uh, that's all i had to say about this uh, in this video about my project so it's been a pretty short video i know so uh, so i urge you guys to please uh, subscribe to my channel subscribe to our channel me and ashnas and follow uh, our instagram page too so that you guys can get a better knowledge on technologies that are currently re relevant right so basically yeah i have uploaded a story today too so yeah uh, that's all for today thank you have a nice day and yeah don't forget to follow bye